In this lesson, we want to talk about how colors change. Um, this apple is uh, outside now. I'm taking a picture of it. Let's see what this apple looks like in the shade, how the colors change when I move this apple into the shade. And the apple in the shade. This is the apple in my studio. You may have heard about the dress that no one could figure out what color it is. These are, uh, this is gold fabric, kind of a yellow gold, and the background is a white piece of paper. That's what it looks like in the sun. Here's the gold fabric in the sun and in the shade. Look at, look at how the camera adjusts. Looks, it looks like black and white practically, but as soon as you come back, see how the camera changes? This is the primary reason. It's exactly the same color. See, we pull that over like that. There we go. Here's the banana outside in the sunlight. Again, let's see how much the colors change when we move it into the shade. banana. This is in the shade. And the banana in my studio. So the lesson is uh, there is no such thing as absolute color. Color is re changed constantly by the kind of lighting we have, the warmth or cool of the light. So there's no such thing as knowing what is the recipe for painting a banana, an apple, or a face. We just have to look. That's how we determine the color of anything. The color of my hand. See how it goes blue there? Now watch that same color change here. And that's my hand and it changes color and it gets different colors depending on the lighting that is there. So uh, everything reflects color. Everything changes color. So the colors we're going to use to paint skin are constantly changing here. The color of his neck and look at the color of his forehead. The reason the colors are different is because this is being hit by much more light and this is in shade. So is his neck really a different color skin than his head? No, not really. Uh, what affects uh, the lesson that we need to learn in all of our painting is there is no standard color for anything, whether it's skin or the sky or a tree or green grass or anything. Colors always change. Color is relative. So we don't want to ask the question, what color should I use to mix skin? Or what color should I use to, uh, you know, paint a banana or an apple or whatever. So we have to look to find out what the color is. That's, that's what the lesson is about today.